Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I thought I would do the unboxing to this doll 133 pencil sharpener. Um, I got it in the mail today. I ordered it a couple days ago. Um, it does say that it's great for colored pencils. And I do have a few pencils here to demonstrate. Um, I have a couple Derwent. I have the Color Soft and the Pro Colors. I have a Caran Dash uh, Super Color. And I do have a Prisma Color. So we are going to try this out. I thought I would unbox it with you guys. Oops. Okay, and it does come with the clamp to clamp it to your desk. I'm not sure. I don't think I'll be able to clamp it to mine. I'll have to figure out another way. I've never even used one of these before. Not this kind. So, um, I watched it on another channel. I watched an unboxing of one of these. Um, and, and I've seen, like, demonstrations of this kind, but it wasn't the doll 133 it was a I think a Derwent but anyway um, this Prismacolor here that I'm going to use has never been sharpened so you can see that it has never been sharpened so I'm gonna and I'm pretty sure all you do is slide it in I don't think you have to hold on to the pencil oh and this one also has um, a knob where you can turn it for the super sharp point or you can turn it for a more dull point. So since this one has never been sharpened, let's try it with the more dull point first. Is it all the way? There it goes. So okay. And then I guess you just pull it out. Gosh, it's it's in there tight okay and there's the point that you get with sorry the less dull and then if you turn it over to uh oh to the sharp pull it back out I don't understand why that is so I don't remember hers being this way the girl that I watched last night and the channel that I watched last night um, what is her channel name I don't remember her channel name okay, I think it's done so oh okay nope it broke that's weird Okay, let's see. Something, I'm not sure about this. I am not. I don't even know how to get this thing apart. This is all first impressions, guys, because I've never even looked at this color pencil sharpener before. So... Everything I'm doing, I'm learning with you guys. This is so weird to me. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now it's sharpened. I mean, I don't want to eat up all my pencil. So I'm going to pull it out. Oh, yeah, there. But I feel like it didn't stop sharpening. You know what I mean? Like it's supposed to. But look at that point. And it does have the little tray to hold your shavings. It's right there. Okay, so there's that. I mean, it did sharpen well. <clears throat> and then you're also supposed to be able to use like the Derwent Color Soft, which is a bigger pencil. And you're supposed to push the button, I guess. 
<laughs> Let's pull it back out, right? Is that right? Is that how you do it? Okay, oh, it locked in, okay. But I don't feel like it ever quits, and that worries me. I don't want to grind my pencil down. I guess I'll just have to stop it when I think it's when I think it's ready. But there's that point. Super, super sharp point. Now let's turn it back to the dull point. Oh, her channel name is Pamela's Passion for Pencils, maybe? Or something like that. And I'm going to color or use, let's do this one. It is a Durant Pro Color, and you can tell that it's kind of dull already. So pull this out, slide that in. Okay, it locked in, and it feels like it's already done. So there's the tip. Okay, put that back out, and then we'll try the sharp tip. locked in there it goes now it's done it felt like it was done oh goodness look at that sharp point I like that man that is super sharp I don't think I think I would probably do like she did um, in her video and for my Prismacolors I probably would keep it in between the sharp and the dull but for like these harder pencils I would definitely keep them sharper because I feel like the Prismacolors are so easily easy to break that I would not um, keep them that sharp. And I don't want to break my pencils. Okay, so we're going back to the doll. This one is the Karen Dash Super Color 2 Soft. So let's try it. Okay, it's already done because it already had, I guess, the. Am I supposed to pull that out like that? Um, it already had the dull point. So let's turn it. Let's turn it like halfway and see how it does. Really? It's already done? Okay, so there's that point. I still don't. I don't know that that's sharp enough for me. So let's go in again. Turn it to the sharpest level. Okay. Okay, see, I don't feel like it's stopping on this pencil. And look at that. It's super sharp. So I'll just have to pay attention, I guess. I thought it was supposed to stop. I mean, <clears throat> paper clips make it easy to clean out waxy debris. Let's see. Create either a blunt rounded tip or a super fine point tip for precision. Two sharpeners in one. Accepts both regular and oversized artist pencils, which for the oversized, they're talking about like the Pro Color and the Derwent Color Soft. They are both bigger pencils, and you can see the size difference between a Prisma Color and then the. So, yeah, you can see the size difference, but it doesn't really have any instructions really hmm maybe that's just like people saying that it stops you know because it gets easier like it doesn't sound like it's chomping away at your pencil anymore when it's done so and I mean how are you supposed to are you supposed to unscrew this here? I mean, I'm, I'm confused. Again, I've never used one of these pencil sharpeners, so I really don't know how to use them. 
and now it won't go back in. Am I doing something wrong? I don't want to break it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, okay. There we go. I guess I just had to turn that a little. But I mean, how would you... I guess you unscrew this, but I would have to have my husband do that because my hands are very weak. I have very weak hands. They... I have carpal tunnel in both. I have trigger thumb in this one. So, yeah, my hands are a mess. Um, but anyway, this is the doll. I do like it. It's a really good sharpener, but I don't know that... Whew, I don't know if I like it better than... Because, see, here's my... A little coon sharpener and I love it although it is harder on my hands it's hard on my hands to work I do love it it's a really good sharpener and then I've also got this Krita color uh, mega sharpener it's got a spot for bigger pencils and the regular size pencils as well I think I got this in one of my sketch boxes so and it's a really good pencil sharpener too but anyway, okay guys, that is the Doll Model 133 Pencil Sharpener. Um, you guys can decide what you think about it. I don't know, maybe I <laughs> need to work with it a little more. I'm just not used to this kind of sharpener. I will tell you that. I've never used this kind of sharpener. The only kind of sharpener that I've actually used that was remotely like this, you just stick the pencil in and sharpen. I mean, you don't pull this out. You don't do anything like that. So, I mean, are you so, even... I'm just confused by that, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I don't guess you have to pull that out, do you? No, you wouldn't even have to pull that out. So I'm kind of confused as to why everyone does when they go to sharpen their pencil. If somebody knows, can you let me know why people pull that out when they use it? Because the reviews and stuff that I've watched and the videos that I've watched, a lot of people pull that out. But I just slid a pencil in there without doing it and it worked just fine. So, okay, that's it y'all. It's not a bad sharpener, especially for the price. It does sharpen your pencils extremely well. Again, here are the points on all different types of pencils. So, you guys can decide. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not done so already. I will link this in the description. I believe I paid $11 for this. So I will link it into or in the description. That way you guys, if you're interested, you can purchase it for yourself. All right, guys, there you go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.